Okay, this is the second one I've done on this, and uh, really I've tried to mention it three times, and I've mentioned earlier um, that I tried to do it towards the end of the year. I was starting to get into this towards the end of the uh, last year's season, I guess, up into early November, and one of my locals said something. I was talking about linguistics, and it kind of, you know, I don't know, I just kind of went off in left field a little bit and everything, but uh, regardless of that, um, strangely, that same person brought this back to me, and I appreciate it again, and I want to show this to you, and I'm going to try this for a third time and just see what happens here. Um, it's, uh, what I'm here at is a linguistic department, right? And this is OSU, so this is not Oklahoma State University, but Ohio State University. Something I want to show you here is a diagram of something that, uh, whenever I see something like this, if you can see it in the picture very well, it's kind of a web, but things are all connected, and even this is connected up to here and all these things. This is kind of how I see history right here when I'm looking at it. And when we talk about a time of a certain people, here they are in time here, here they are in time here, but now the four is a five. That four also is the same four as up here. Where's five? Five becomes here now. Five and one become here now. Here's the ones. Here's where one went. Where did one, where, where did it start from? One was, one's over here. This is where one ended up. He went over here, right? Now one is with three. A three, where did, three's down here in Persia. Where's, where did that happen? Okay, so anyhow. I just want to show you something here, and uh, this was supposed to be a totally different video, but of course, let me just show you this. So, uh, troglodytes are faster than any other men. They live in caves, eat snakes, lizards, and other creeping things, and their speech is the squeaking of bats. Um, Herodotus has said some silly things. There's a key passage right here we're fixing to look at. I'm going to read it to you. I want to zoom in on it here and get it about right for you. So you can see it pretty good. Boy, that's small to y'all. I can't fit it in there any tighter than that. So I read it to you. This is uh, 4, 183. After 10 days journey, I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Let's pretend we're going to have a test after this. So, you know, like, how many journey, how many days journey was it? Where was this? What was found there? What was on this? And I'm going to kind of go through this a little bit, but I'll try to read it fairly straight and smooth. And then we're going to look at this. I'm going to, I'm going to do a translation off of real Greek. Okay. So after 10 days journey again from Aguila, there is yet another hill of salt and springs of water and many fruit bearing palms. As at the other places, men live there called Garamantes, an exceedingly great nation who sow in the earth, which they have laid on the salt. The shortest way to the Lotus Eaters country is from here, 30 days journey distant. Now, Lotus Eater, it says the people that consumed Lotus, it's Lotus Phages, and it's people that consume them, which actually could mean something totally different, but it's translated as Lotus Eaters. There's about four variations of this, and really it goes farther than that. I'll sh show you something. The shortest way the Lotus Eaters country from here, 30 days journey. Now you can, there are stories where people make it from Anatolia all the way off into in like 20 something days into Spain. So this is going all the way out into the eye of the Sahara area and the Mauritania area. It's all the way around on the end and the corner up there in Africa and stuff, right? So it's up in that corner area. But anyhow, among the Garamantes, there are cattle that go backward as they graze. So this is also in another video I did a long time ago that just talked about the fallacies of history and Herodotus' things. And I was going to do one also, I still will probably do it, on how some of the things in Herodotus' histories are just hearsay. You know, that they're, they're taken out of context totally, and basically he's just told these things. And some of these things you can tell somebody must have been giggling their ass off when they told him it. He actually wrote that down. They believe there's giant ants in India that collect gold. Well, what does he tell you here? But he tells you among the Garamantes are cattle that go backward as they graze. The reason being that their horns curve forward. Therefore, not being able to go forward, since the horns would stick into the ground, they walk backward grazing. Hmm? Otherwise, they are like other cattle, except that their hide is thicker and harder to the touch. These Garamantes go in their four-horse chariots, chasing the cave-dwelling Ethiopians. Now, by the way, this is like actually somebody telling somebody about elephants, by the way. It wasn't the cattle, 
okay, and their giant horns and stuff, but I, I've got my own interpretation of this whole thing and what the reality was they told him and how he, he was like, duh, and he turned it into this. It's a totally separate video, though. That's not what I'm showing you here. I'm trying to show you something maybe perhaps a little more important, but these Garamani's, um they walk backwards grazing. Otherwise, they're like other cattle, except they've got thicker hide and it's harder to touch. Now, these Garamantes go forth in their four-horse chariots, chasing the cave-dwelling Ethiopians, for the Ethiopian cave-dwellers are swifter afoot than any other men whose tails are brought to us. Now, Ethiopians, they, they call people that are at the top of the Nile Ethiopians. They call people out over here Ethiopians. They call people in Yemen Ethiopians. They call people over in uh, India Ethiopians and stuff. And really it just means people that are sunburnt. You know, people that are living around the equator are close and they're, they're dark tan. Of course, Greeks, pretty much everybody's tan in this area. Greeks are from the way high north and stuff. And they're showing you how they're a lot darker than like the Egyptians are and stuff. So even though they show that red ochre symbology, you look at the women and they're quite pale and it's, well, you look at the Greek art and they have the same red ochre stuff, but let's not go into there. So he tells you they're the fastest of foot that tails have brought to us. They live on snakes and lizards, such like creeping things. Their speech is like no other in the world and it's like the squeaking of bats. Now that's kind of what it said before there. So I just take this and I grab it, you know, Okay, well, let me do what I did. It'd be better if I just do what I did. Um, let me try to grab the whole thing. And now let me go here to Google Translate. Now, it wouldn't take the whole thing in at once. I don't think it'll do it again this time, so I'll still have to partition it. Let me show you here. So it tells you, boom, there's the whole thing, and it exceeds 3,900 characters limit, so I'll grab some of this. I want to grab up here to maybe three, but I'm going to go from the bottom here. Vuka tepoys. Well, the last word there was bats, so that's bats, right? Well, what is tep? Vuk tepoys, tepoys, tepis? This is tepis, bats? Oh, this is why Vlad Tepis has something to do with bats and vampires, and Shelly put that together. Oop, that's a whole different video, though. Let's grab this, and let's go up to three. There we go. And I'm going to save this copy but now I'm gonna erase that so it'll be a lot less and now let's see if it'll pull it off yeah it pulls it off okay so you remember what we said before see if this sounds the same or is this the same story or what's going on here and from Avgalon for 10 days other routes here to a lost column and water and palm fruit a lot approximate and in percent Eterosi and humans, the oikoisi, in unintelligible percent. Uno, meaning one, Garamantes corner. Great nation vigorously. The times the Allah earth epinephrontes so spurious. At least one of the Lutherans of the 312 in this way in the same place and the fallen beast become the sons of the Lord the cherry has been conscious in him and the second part This is the name of the referees who shall be given the following. A, the firstborn of the firstborn of the priests. Other than those of other beings that have the skin and the skin of thickened and frozen. I'm guessing people. This is people of the north, right? The Garamans are three. Well, did just change it. The Garamans are three-wheeled people who live in the quest that they are thrown away. They are fast-paced people of all kinds because of the reasons they are listening to. They are satisfied with the trolls of idols and lizards, and with the likes of the idols. They have no other like this, but some of them are trivial. Now, a moment ago, I swear to you, it didn't say that exact same thing at the end there. 
I want to see if I can get that to pull again. It mentioned candles and it said something different at the end. I'm just going to grab this. Just delete that out. Dia Otto. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Hala de Uden. Oh, it said something different right here at the end. Trolls wasn't the word they used. And right here at the end of it, it tells you that there are ones that said that they were the first, but they were the but the ones that are true are the third in choice. And you look at the third that's mentioned in the Bible, and it says, "Oh, so who? What are they talking about?" Well, there's Ham, Shem, and Japheth. And then the ones that said they were first were not. And who's that? And so on. Oh, it's, 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 oh, let me see if I can grab it all again and put it in there. I can't believe they're changing this on me, but you saw what it said right there before. Let's, uh, let's go back here. It's the whole thing here. I'm just going to try to grab it from the Dio Okay, there we go. Hold it right there. Somebody changing my crap right in front of me, ball. Here we go. Now, it's exactly what I put. The same one in Vuka Tepoides. Here we are, the exact same thing, right? They are fast-paced people, all kinds, because of the reasons they are listening to, and they are uh, and the and the idols and the lizards and the tabernacles shall be satisfied there shall speak of such things as the firstborn but the third of them shall be that's a little off too where's the candle I'm good on this not for this purpose and the clergy shall be to them for this reason they shall be appointed for the sons of the priests, and for the sons of the priests, and other than those of the beings that have the skin of the skin thickened and frozen. The Garamans are free-willed people. They live on a quest. They are thrown away. They are fast-paced people of all kinds because of the reasons they are listening to. They are idols, and the idols and the lizards and the tabernacles shall be satisfied. They shall speak of such things as the firstborn, but the third of them shall be. So, kind of strange here, people. And again, Ohio State University, there, Les. Les, I studied linguistics, and uh, I'm going to have to tear this apart one by one, and I'm telling you, Google Translate is not that far off. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Record this real quick. Peace.